Hi and welcome to another Studio One quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how you can assign any Studio One command to a button on your MIDI controller. Let's get started. To do this, you need to add your MIDI controller to the list of external devices in Studio One. You can do this by going into the options or just clicking on this arrow here. And if your controller is not in this list yet, then you can say add device. And here, depending on whether your device is rather a keyboard device that sends no data, or if it's just a controller with knobs and buttons, you select new keyboard or new control surface. And then you enter a name and the correct MIDI input device, and then you press OK. If your MIDI device shows up with several different MIDI inputs and you don't know which one to select, you can simply go into the MIDI monitor and press your buttons or pads on the MIDI controller and this will show you the correct MIDI port to select. If you're not sure about all these settings and how to set up your MIDI device, I have another video for you that should appear right now here in the top right corner. Okay, now you can click on the arrow again and select your MIDI controller. And in this window that opens up, press MIDI Learn. And now you can press your buttons or whatever it is, but it makes the most sense for buttons. And those buttons will now appear here in the window. Here's an important thing. In order for this to work, your MIDI controller has to be able to send MIDI CC messages when you press the buttons. You may need to look in the manual to see how to set up the buttons to send MIDI CCs because that's the requirement for assigning commands to the button. Okay, I've now added my first eight buttons. If you can't see them all, just resize the window. Now, Studio One can't tell if it's a button or a knob or a fader. It just receives MIDI data. So they are all showing up as knobs right now. We can change that by right-clicking on the knobs and selecting a different type, in this case a button, because only buttons allow you to assign commands, so that's important. And depending on how your MIDI controller sends the different CCs, if it's a toggle or not, you need to select on off or press release. If you're not sure, the easiest way to find out is to just try out one of them. And if it only triggers every second time you press the button, or if it triggers twice on press and release, then you probably need the other one. Okay, now we are done and we can right click on a button and choose assign command. And this is where we can finally put all our Studio One commands on a button. And this works for macros too. Just type in macros and this will show us all the macros. And now let me just assign a couple of different commands. Maybe this one and another one and another one. And now you can turn off MIDI Learn or just close the window. And if I now press one of the buttons on my MIDI keyboard, it will run the corresponding commands. So that is how you can assign commands to buttons on your MIDI controller. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you don't want to miss any more Studio One tips and secrets, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.